What's your name? Lil Black. Where are you from? I'm from the Night Ward, New Orleans, so from Mason and Villarreal. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Uh, I like to rap. All right, you like to rap? Tell me about your city. Uh, it's dangerous. It's, it's real tough to live in here. And if you're not real and not built, you're not gonna survive. And when you say you're not gonna survive, what you mean by that? Mm. I mean, as long as you have common sense and street smarts, you're gonna survive. But if you don't know how to carry yourself, uh, really carry yourself and know where to go and who to speak to, you're gonna get eight like. When you say get eight, what you mean like, like knocked off, like like killed, what? Yeah, because if you ain't on your P's and Q's and know what you're doing down there, you're going to get killed. Bye. Has anyone gotten killed in your city for competition? Everybody. <laughs> you hear me? Fuck, bro. New Orleans. Everybody, but if I can name a few people off the top of my head, Jeremy. Rest in peace, young bitch, out the four wall, Beanville, Jeremy. Yeah, um, yeah. Who else I can think of? Of course, Soldier Slum, you know, the legends. Messy Maya, Mango and Shorty, you hear me? But, yeah, they got a lot of heat and envy in my city, you know. A lot of hate in New Orleans. It's tough, like, to be popular down there, you know what I mean? So you feel like being popular in your city makes it dangerous for you? Make dangerous for y'all? Uh, for certain people, you know. I mean, you know, it's a dangerous city in general, but when you're popular, just make it that more dangerous type shit. So yeah. you just gotta be on your P's and Q's. Yeah, you, know? you gotta be on your P's and Q's. More than the average person, basically. So you gotta be on your P's and Q's in New Orleans, like, you gotta just I be mindful. Be. I used to be on a block every fucking day. You hear me? Like, just hide in a motherfucker, you hear me? I can't do that no more. It's retarded. Yeah. Tell me about Hurricane Katrina. I left the day before it happened. And if I would have stayed, I would have drowned because I don't know how to swim. Real shit, you hear me? But, um, I know people who died in it on my street on May Century. Old man that died in the flood. I know. It was uh, it's so bad to the point like they still have abandoned houses and projects behind this shit. Like this shit still affect us till today, you know. <laughs> So when you say the hurricane still affects your city right now today, what do you mean by that? Mm -hmm. The cops, whatever the fuck you want to call them, <laughs> 12 or whatnot, they just as crooked as it was Katrina did. Like the shit works, man. They fucking with citizens for no fucking reason when we got corrupt politics and shit. They're not. So you feel like the Hurricane Katrina made politics push war into a city or oh, tourists? Just so they can make money. Because they wanted to run it their own way? I don't know if I'm going to say the word right, but they got a gentrification. Is that right? Yes. That's what's going on in my city. Okay. And do you, would you say your city was too black based or? Like, uh, being said for Katrina, it was a chocolate city, you hear me? Nice. I mean, we don't mind new people, but at the same time, where the fuck we going? <laughs> what the fuck going on? You hear me? Right. So it's like 
so so basically it's like a push to you know what I'm saying to mix your city and to move y'all out but you know blacks really don't have anywhere to go uh, they turn into projects half white and shit again right and so does that do you think that makes the competition that much stronger Man, that shit create more violence and shit. When you, like everything in history, if you're taking over another man's land, you gotta fight for his land. So, <laughs> that's what it is type of shit. Wow. Yeah. Who inspires you to rap? I'm not that going. Well, I said the same thing because it's the real story. <laughs> but when I really think on it, it's multiple people on some shit. But I have to say, so it is slim. Juvenile and Master P. Okay, that's what's up. Where did the name Blaine, Little Blaine come from? That's my real name, but I spell it with a Y because I look up to Lil Wayne, so I spell my name black. That's what's up. Would you ever want to work with Lil Wayne? Would you ever work with him? Hell yeah. Definitely a New Orleans goat. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. What do you want to do with your music? I wanted to spread throughout the world, you know, because when people learn who I am for me, they're going to love my music, so. That's what's up. Explain your, your fashion, your look. Uh, I mean, I dress kind of crazy, I guess you would say, like, but. I wouldn't call it crazy, I call it, I know what fashion is, <laughs> but that's what I would call it. And do you feel like your look is the new push or new way for just the world or artists or young people? But like, I would say no and yeah, I would say no because I want to stay unique, I don't want to buy that copy of me. I'm yeah. already different in every so mm -hmm. now nah, I'm good on it. But I say yeah because some people don't know how to dress. <laughs> like I used to say, they don't know how to dress on some shit. Okay. That's what's up? How would how would you describe your music? How would you describe your music? Or how would you describe your sound? What's the word? I can't think of the word. Not diverse, but um, what's that word? Uh, I don't know, but I can do any type of music, any genre. I feel I can do it all. So whatever that word is, I can't think about y'all. Think for <laughs> you. Yeah, let me know that. You're you're good. You know you're good. Where do you see yourself in two years? Probably in New York, chilling. Yeah. Is New York a place you always wanted to go or live? Yeah. You ready? You ready for that real silly city life? Yeah. What's up? What about five years from now? Where do you see yourself five years from now? Probably out the country on some shit. Out the country, that's what's up. What about 10 years from now? Out of this world. <laughs> Nigga, what's... So you're, yeah. you're, you're, going, you're going into space? Yeah, I'm dipping all y'all. So you're dipping? You're going to go live in yeah. a spaceship? Yeah. What's what's up? So I noticed something very unique about you. You have a company that's out there? A media blog company? Yeah, I got a little something, something to tuck in. Very different for you as an artist. 
as a rapper. That's very different, very unique. Um, what's the name of your company? Nola Media. Nola Media. Um, tell, tell me about your company. Um, I spontaneously started it for my city here because I always show love, I always post to people on my page or whatnot. Sure, man. My space days, like here before Instagram type shit, Facebook, all that shit, Twitter. But um, I just think like, why not just start a blog here? And I had free promo for a whole year for the entire city. I ain't care what you was doing. You can blow balloon at them <laughs> I'll post it. Real <laughs> shit. <laughs> Do you feel like the people that are followers or supporters of Nola Media, do you really feel like they rock with Nola Media? Hell yeah, they support like a motherfucker. That's what's up. Some diehard supporters, that's what's up, that's what's up. Um, what do you want to do ultimately with Nola Media or what's your next push with Nola Media? I want to show the world how my city do it, like just their talent, just our culture for real from our point of view. Okay. So you're gonna use Nola Media to show that? Yeah. That's what's up. So what if there are there any bigger bigger things you wanna do with Nola Media? Um red carpet events, um movies, television. Mm, I would say the red carpet events and television, not really movies per se. You know? But I wanna start a fundraiser, not fundraiser but a foundation for children. I'm gonna uh, get on to that soon. Okay, that's good stuff. Is there anything else you do, or is there anything else you want to do besides rap? Mm. Nah, I just want to take trips. <laughs> like I'm simple. Like I just want to travel and see shit. You travel and see shit. Uh, you want to travel with your music as well, or just travel with raw? Nah, I want to travel with my music. Yeah. Do big ass concerts. Oh yeah. Party, concert, everyday type shit. Yeah. That's what's up. Well, all right, we're thankful for having you, Lil Blaine. Yeah, Nola Media, what's up? Free my nigga Flo, yeah, man. Free my That's nigga Platinum. That's play. what's up. All right.